Welcome back. Let's play some more 10 minute games on Shogi Wars. Good luck. Wow, they're moving. They are moving like there's no tomorrow. I close this diagonal. Does this catch them off guard? It can't. It would be astounding if something like this caught an opponent off guard. Um, they must have seen this before. Maybe either they're riddled with indecision or something IRL happened. Um, hmm. But yeah, I'm prepared to move the silver up, move my rook over, and castle to the right. That's my plan. Well, hopefully this... yeah, okay. Yeah, something probably came up IRL there. Um, hmm, well, that's an aggressive posture, isn't it? Let's just continue building this. don't have a pawn. Okay. I still don't have a pawn in hand. Um, I think this is playable. Um, hmm. What to do here? I can take some more space up here. Uh, even more space. Alright, our opponent plays uh, silver toward the center. And picks the correct timing to attack. Um... I assume I'm okay. Maybe this is a wrong assumption on my part. Interesting. Hmm. We're gonna learn this game the hard way, it seems. So I thought this is playable, no? I mean, this is not the sort of move I want to play there, but... Um, I thought this holds. Ah, uh, okay. Ah, uh, what to do? Hmm. Uh, 
All right, we go down fighting. Um, well, that's odd. I was certain they wanted my rook. Um, maybe not. Hmm. How do I make progress here? If I push on my bishop's head, the bishop becomes severely weak. Um, they're threatening this knight advance if I do anything too aggressive. Hmm. Alright, let's take our chances here. I mean, yeah, this is scary. Um, hmm. They're threatening this pawn. Go home. I activate my rook, and my bishop. Hmm. Hmm, what a mess. What a mess. Yes, I'm about to hang everything. Um, it'd be nice if I had a continuation after this. So I could take this knight, and then I could drop a silver out in no man's land, which is not smart. Um,
And screw it, let's go. How bad can this be? Sampun. Fine. It's okay. Nifun. Yuck. Ew. Can't believe we had to do that. Finding a next attacking move here is rough. Alright. Well, that sucks. Uh, let's try to hold on. Hmm. Yeah, this ain't great. Well played, sir. Yeah, all right. Very well. Thanks for the game. One down, two to go. Good luck.
I had a thought my opponent might try that. Um... If they bring the Rook over immediately, I have this drop. Alright. So, glad to see we're not in the land of the completely zany stuff. Um, oh, I see. So they're building this fortress shape, having not seen what I'm up to. Okay. That's where we're at. And I don't know where the Rook is intending to go, but if it's going sideways, um, they have multiple pieces blocking it. If it's not going sideways, they picked an interesting castle. But I guess regardless of where the rook is, they built whatever this shape is. Um, hmm. Well, I'm going to build this. Mm-hmm. Mm hmm. I don't really want to push this work pawn. I'd rather my rook be stationed here. Okay, that makes some sense. Um. Yeah, they want... they're choosing to play Static Rook Opening. And I was debating... I don't know where my Rook's gonna end up this game. But if my Silver is gonna protect this square... in order to stop this Rook from advancing, then... Um, my pieces could end up on quite different squares here. Or rather, my rook might end up moving again, that's what I'm trying to say. So they keep trying to find productive uses of moves, as do I. Um, I can claim some space and claim a little more space. But the minute I try to transition this castle is when their attack hits, so... I've got to play this with some degree of caution. Um, on the other hand, I really don't like my king being on this diagonal here. Don't care for that.
Hmm. Alright, I pose your rook this way then. There should probably be some pawn break somewhere, I'm just not seeing it. Um... Hmm. Nana Fun. I'm maybe about to make a major blunder? I don't know. I anticipated that. And this is how I expected to confront it. And if they def well, it's already defended once. Um, yeah, pawn drop does not help to defend it further. So this is what I anticipated when I moved the rook here. Um, there's doubtless some breakthrough that I've completely missed. I'm still looking, but I don't see it. Um, meanwhile, I have this bishop drop idea. Well, no, they're going to drop a bishop to hit this and then advance the... Well, they can't advance the silver without dropping the knight. Yeah, I'm a bit confused. Um. Alright, well... This clearly is the place for a bishop, so let's use the bishop here. Next, I'd move here and then take the knight, I guess. Oh, did I surround my bishop? Even if I did, that's not the worst fate, but uh, some foresight could have been useful. Um... Mm -hmm. All right, so this was their big idea. Hmm. The rook's defending the slants. So, if they try anything too sudden, um, I get a counterattack. If they don't try anything, I still have an attack. My rook is loose. Okay, let's make my rook less hanging before we do anything crazy. Crazy stuff's about to happen, but we've prepared as best as we can at this point. I mean, yeah, maybe I should defend this point, uh, but I think weaknesses start to crop up all over the place anyhow. Um, interesting. <laughs> hmm. 
If I take that, they have a bishop drop, so I cannot take it easily. Um, mm, our mo opponent is well motivated. I've got a ton of motivation to get stuff done here. Um, if silver takes, I get a free knight. If rook takes, I get a lance. Although maybe I need to drop here if rook takes. Uh, otherwise they could drop a bishop and stuff could get... Well, yeah. Now I've got that covered accidentally. Maybe I don't. Maybe I do need to drop here if they take that with the rook. Or maybe I bring the knight up, but that's dangerous. They might also... Well, yeah, I don't know where they're considering a bishop drop. I do not know. There's holes everywhere. Ah, uh, there's finally the bishop drop that we've long awaited. That makes sense. Alright, if they promote this, I think I just take with the rook and say, you know what? Fine, you get a pawn. You get a horse. It's nothing I can concern myself with. Because splitting this castle in order to continue pawn grabbing, well, well, hmm. I don't die yet. They're trying to surround my rook, I guess. That is aggressive. I remove another aggressor or attacker. Hmm. Hmm. I think we've seen a lot of aggression here. Cutting off the scope of this rook seems of some importance. So next, I'll drop another pawn in front of the rook. Okay. Um... I'll defend this.
うん2分I removed the rook. Um, what a mess. My castle has been upended. This continues to try to stay intact, but then they can push this next. Hmm. They have nothing to block my check. I offer my horse if they want it. They'd rather have that. Alright, we rebuild this castle. I hope that's not a blunder. Hmm. There's a lot going on. Okay. Hang on. The gosh darn phone. I don't know what to do. Thanks for the game. That was exciting, eh? Alright, two down, one to go. <laughs> Good luck.
I'm still just a wee bit too paranoid to play my rook directly to the third file here. Hmm. Hmm. Like, clearly they're intending Rook here. That's why they've held off and not built any sort of a castle. Um, it's because they want to play this very specific attacking idea. And I'm trying to give them things to consider. Um, so that this can be an interesting game. Oh, that is a fork. You are correct, sir. I walked right into a fork. Yay me. Um, that might make this game more difficult. Alright, so I built a castle. Hmm. Hmm. I offer a bishop exchange. I forget that they can just move there, defend this, and decline my offer. Oh, this is not going well. Even if tactically somehow this is justified, like, I didn't read that out. Um, but I might be lucky today that, like, I should have considered this, but it might not work. Because this horse can only defend this pawn from this square. Or it can go back. Um, our opponent is not interested in playing defense, so I get a horse. This is spectacular. Um, this knight is hanging next. Alright, the spectacle ends. Maybe. Um, yeah, okay. Fair enough. Nanafun.
Alright, so I'll fight back over here. This isn't a bishop, this is a silver. Oh, I thought I was going to defend this point using this silver. Um, okay. I'm just a little bit blind today. Maybe it's fine. We have a very weird shape. All right. Um, this shouldn't have worked. But apparently I'm finding things to stay in the game. That's pretty wild. So next I'm threatening to take this pawn and then push this pawn directly toward their rook. Their king is still in the center of the board. My king is still... it eh, could be happier, but it's fine. Um... Once I take this, they can just drop a pawn to oppose, and, like, what am I doing? But still. Yeah, this knight silver shape looks pretty decent, I guess. Um, it's difficult for this pawn to attack this knight. And what else is going to attack this knight? This pawn. Um, but this pawn can't attack the knight. That's just... Okay. Well, apparently it can. I stand corrected. Um, fine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So this bishop is on a mission. The mission's to try to make the knight look stupid. But, um, the bishop is a bit extended now. So if they drop another pawn in front of this knight, like... Okay, maybe if first of all I should have been chasing this bishop here. Instead of trying to activate my rook. Oh my goodness. Pre-tempi galore. Um, What a shape. All right, we're going to try our chances with this. What concerns me is this gold move, but that shouldn't concern me because that wakes up the only thing that could defend the king. Um, but yeah, if I had a third pawn, this attack would be devastating as, well, actually, if they bring the gold up, I could bring the silver up and then try to, yeah, that's fine. So this is actually very difficult for them to hold here. Um... The most natural attacking idea is to bring the knight up and then try to bring it up again. 
but that doesn't work here. But here this pawn is pinned, so my silver pursues this gold. If the silver should move, then holes appear and the knight can use the holes. Um, our opponent has three pawns in hand. So expect those to come into play very soon here. Um, okay. Now our opponent's bishop is hanging. Uh, yeah, I think this is what they'd intended, actually. So I collect the bishop and they get my silver. Gosh darn it, I'm in a fork. They say don't run from a fork, but there really needs to be another proverb about don't run into a fork. For folks like me who seem to regularly fall into them. On the other hand, running from the fork hitting this gold might not be the way, uh, complete waste of time. Um... But yeah, it would have been nice to find this and do something about it before it happens. Instead, here I am in a fork. Um, I mean, this, I guess, begs for a, bish a silver drop here. <sighs> um, that ain't a silver. That's no silver. Um... Yeah, I was thinking about a gold drop where I've placed my bishop here instead. Um, but the gold drop doesn't seem to mate. So we're trying to pick something a bit more aggressive. Alright, I threaten a lance and a silver. Thankfully, they don't have a lance to drop on me. But if the silver moves, I can take here. That I get to take this. Mm -hmm. Nifun. I didn't expect that. Threatening to take this twice. Mm 
1分30秒Also threatening this rook. Um. Okay, we remove the castle.30秒。Alright, it's possible many things were missed by both of us in those last few minutes. Either way, yeah, thank you. I hope we enjoyed these games. <laughs> those last two, I admit, I was a bit excited toward the end, uh, not just on account of the timer. Um, yeah, there's a lot. It's a really rich game. And sometimes I'm lucky, sometimes I'm not. But the more we practice, the more we learn. The more we study, the more we learn, too. Uh, yeah, hope we enjoyed these. Thanks for watching.